Good morning. So um, I'm conscious that I've been not as full on with the videoing as I'd have liked to be in the Christmas period. It's been really quite a busy time um, and we've been doing a lot of doing um, and there's been less time to sort of get my phone out and reflect and, and have a think about things. Um, but I thought I would just sort of finish off with some of my reflections of what I've noticed that having got involved more with my kids' screen time, getting a sort of more of a sense of what they have been getting up to. Um, what I've noticed is they mainly use it as a way of sort of downtime, if I'm honest. They, they do lots of intense activity. We spent a lot of time outside over the Christmas period. Um, and the screen time is really a way for them of, of switching off, of, of not having to be active, I guess, in the same way that adults use it. Um, my son loves his football games, so he'll go on football games. He's less into YouTube than he used to be when he was younger. He tends to like watching shows, so I'll often find him on Netflix and, and watching shows that are often about sub topics that I wouldn't necessarily associate him liking. So things like The Next Step, which is this sort of Canadian dance show, and um, there's this one about horses. Um, but I think what he likes about them is the relationships. A lot of it is about teenagers forming relationships and, and all of that side of things. And I think that's what he finds interesting if I'm honest even if it's not necessarily the topic that's in although I know he does quite like the dancing he will practice the dance moves um and with my little girl again she likes those sort of show but and a lot of them are but she's much more interested in she'll go on YouTube and find cartoons and and sort of flick between them um and listen to sort of alternative fairy tales as well which I find quite fascinating she's got a bit of thing anti-princess at the moment which is fine um so, and I've also tried a couple of times to play games with my son and, and it works for a bit, but I think he also gets frustrated because I think it's also that this is his time. This is his time that he likes to spend doing things. Um, but what I've noticed is it doesn't really prevent them from going outside. It's just, I guess what it probably means is they're not spending as much time playing and um, sort of coming up with inventive games and that side of things, or maybe reading. Um, but I also don't really want to force that down their necks at the same time. So it's a bit of a conundrum. Um, and what they do do, and when my son is on his games, he's actually incredibly creative and he's very good. So yeah, maybe it's about, you know, my need to show them doing something particularly that I know is parent worthy rather than actually just accepting that this is what who they are this is what works for them and, and as long as it's in balance like everything else then that's okay too anyway I'm conscious I've gone over my time so I'll sign off there um, if I have any more thoughts I'll send them through but I know I'm over the time limit now all right cheers bye